Hi there, I'm Thomas and welcome to this new episode of the Prussian Hussar. And today we're gonna look at this one, exactly as you would have guessed from the title of this video. Today we're gonna look at the saddle of 1889. This is the first unificated saddle, so to speak before the heavy and the light cavalry had their own saddles. And Peach, in his book about the German history of formation and uniform, in the second part, he started to describe the saddles of the cavalry. Here, from 1808 on, the light cavalry had the Hungarian box saddle, while the cuirassiers had the German saddle, which he showed some sketches for, which means this one shows the box saddle for the light cavalry and here we can see the German saddle. Like the box saddle, um, I'm just showing here a picture of it, yes. And from 1889 on the saddle was just the same for all of the pieces of the cavalry. And now we're gonna strip this beauty apart and see to the and look into the different uh, parts of it, I would say, right? Now let's have a deeper look. Our accompanying source is the Bekleidungsordnung of 1903, or translated Regulation of Apparel, which we will also use in later videos. As we can see here, we have a pretty detailed description of the saddle, but instead of reading it out, Let's check during this video how this description matches the saddle. Well, here on top is the sitting leather, or the top leather. I don't know the exact English expression, but first of all we have to get it off here from the back. Slightly and gentle. Well, as you can see, the leather is not the newest, but it's still a bit smooth, so that's a good thing, but I'd like to have it uh, all redone by a saddlery, but we shall see. So this original here is, was made in 1918. I'll just show you the stems in a minute. As you have seen, I have to get the lashes out here out, and then Get the top, the top off, and here it goes. Right, so we put it aside, and as you can see here, <coughs> we have uh, some sort of transparent leather, and we get the next straps out here. On one side, this is just for later. The other side, and for the pieces on the side, we got here screws, as you can see. And I'm gonna just uh, unwind it, and I think we just do it in fast forward, right? On the right side, and then we just can put it again another strip. Exactly, get this one off and we put it here. And the same goes for the other side, as you can see. second piece on the side and now we just got oh, a little screw and as you can see now here on the downside we have the last piece that we are able to get off and this is pretty simple as you have seen the straps 
and just get it off here and put it out in the front then put it out in the back and this is the side piece on the back number one and the same was here and let's get it off again that way and this uh, yes I just put it in here and this as well so I can just get off the leather and this is the second piece of on the of the blown part and now as you can see here the saddle or the saddle tree and this one is made of wood as you can hear with a little bit of metal here on the sides and here on the a few pieces these are the uh, hooks for the stirrups where they later on come on and yeah here we got the strips for the for fastening the saddle on the horse later but as you can see these have seen better days <laughs> and better conditions and so yeah i think they need to get redone then as we can see here this here is transparent leather and uh, it still works it's still pretty good here this piece of leather is for the front piece we come to this another time and just looking in onto the downside as we can see here again uh, it's, it's just wood with, together with linen and then painted in field gray actually as you can see here right <coughs> that's a wonderful piece now let's have a deeper look about the saddle tree and let's check how it matches the description of our source. As point A says, it should be made out of hardwood. As we can read under point B, the sitting strap should be made out of transparent leather and fastened to the saddle tree with the same, as we can see here. It should be fastened with screws in the front and the back. In the front, there should be a small strap for the front piece. In the front, two triangle shaped rings for suspension, further two straps for attaching the dress shields and pillions. Additionally, two cramps on each side for putting and fastening the saddlebags there, which should come through the pillions and dress shields. In the front on the sides should be three straps. One is a reserve for fastening the saddle to a horse. Close to it on each side, a hook for attaching the stirrups. In the back, three great coat carriers out of metal for three packing straps. And last in the back, more cramps. The right for the carabine, mask kit and other stuff. The left for the sword and additional gear. Not mentioned here are the two buckles in the back for back piece. And now let's uh, go to the back piece here because I want to show you a few things. And yeah, as you can now you see on the tablet leather, we got here again the hole for fitting the top leather on the saddle tree, as we've seen just before. And if you go now here to the back, this little hole, this is for the metal part, which is for fitting the great coat roll later on, and as well a little bit for fitting the saddle on the back, on the, or the top leather on the saddle tree in the back and now uh, as you have seen here the top part we just have a look in the interior just so you see it all right and this is it and here as you can see here in the back there's the stamps so there's one stamp oh i hope i just get it right yes here's one stamp who says it was produced in 1918. Then you got up here the uh, company which produced it. And then if we go here on the other side, it's the size two and the saddles they had, they were available between sizes one to five.
point C describes the top leather. It lies on the saddle tree, as we have seen. In the front is a leather cap, which lies above the seams. On both sides are holes for the upper cramps of the saddle tree. In the back of the top leather are inlays of felt later horsehair. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is the side leather, and here underneath this le leash there are holes for the screws, as we have seen before. So the screws go in here for fitting the side leather on the saddle tree. Then these holes here on the side, and as with the leash, they are again for fastening the side leather on the le uh, on the saddle tree, and this hole here is for the hook from the stirrups, so you can put pull the hook out and then put the stirrups on. As we go here to the uh, leather parts that are below the saddle tree, which is for just fitting the horses, again you have here the hole in the back, uh, in the front, that would be now the front, for fastening it on the saddle tree, as is this leash here, as you can see. and. Here down in the back, the sole. The sole is for the uh, hooks, so you can put your gear on the um, on the hooks and then therefore on the saddle and get it with you. As you can see here, it's a uh, padded. No, it's a padded version. So they could have made as well out of fills for the part that goes on the back of the horse. And as you can see. It's a uh, pretty old leather, so <laughs> it's still original, so a bit more than a hundred years old. And yeah, my goal is to put it back into service, so I think a lot of these leather pieces need to be redone. And just if you follow here, these little parts, you can see where the saddle tree actually lies on. And here we got another very big leash which has just the same function as this here in the front. Yeah, this big leash is as well for fitting the saddle tree on the lower saddle part. And yeah, I would say now let's put it back together and have another look. And have another look, so. In point D, the dress shields with the knee rolls are described. They have on each side holes for the cramps of the saddle tree and a strap to fit in the cramp. Also, there's a hole for the rings of the stirrups. Point E describes the pillions. The padding should be as thin as possible. The padding could be replaced with felt. In the front and back are straps or loops for attaching the saddle tree. In the front are little holes for the strap of the saddle tree, so the pillions can get fastened there. And yeah, just as explained earlier, we can put it here, again under the leash, and here in the back. We just have to watch out that the hooks are all in the best and same direction. So we put it first here in the back, and then here we put it on the side. And then we have here our strap, and as you can see, uh, and <laughs> so hopefully I can see, this the side, this down, and up here. So, and this the same for the other side. Again, look that the hooks are all in the right direction. And we start here, uh, as you can see. Again, with the back, putting it in here, and then this gentle and slightly here on the leash and the strap again here and we put it here so the down sides are, fi are fixed then we have here the side parts and again taking it uh, putting it into position I would say, uh, just taking up all the screws here, 
and here we got the hole for the strap we put it back here and fix it here and before we fix it down here we just look for the screws we fix the strap come on yes. so fixed then for the screws up here yes yeah we are just we just make it now quick and fix and i will do it later on right so the last here and the same on the other side right and again the strap here while fixing it here on the hook and on the other hook down here and taking it off so we got here the strap and put it here perfect and again here in the back for the screws right then you would screw them in here as you have seen and then for the last part just taking it on here on the back shovel it down oh we started from the wrong side and now we do it from the right side so we just pull it on so the <laughs> metal leashes are out right so and the last part pull, pressing it down and yeah here we are strip one strip two next strip here and we are almost there we go yes and now it's put back together as you can see it's pretty fast and pretty easy and yeah now this is the saddle how it looks and let's have a few last words and yeah as you have seen now this is the basic part for everything because we're gonna now mount it piece by piece with the different items that got onto the saddle and yeah let's have a see what the next piece would be for it but so far this was the entire army saddle of 1889 Maybe we will have a look another time on another model, but they are pretty much all the same. So here and there, there may be some variances, but not that much. So I think for today we are at the end of this video. So thank you all for watching and have a good one.